What in the world? Look at that guy's face. <laughs> he looks like he just got done eating a cheeseburger and then he took a hook to the eye. Holy crap, there it is. It's beautiful. We are in Morrow, Georgia, and I just drove five hours to get to this spirit Halloween. Look at it. It defies all logic. <laughs> Look, there's even a label scar up there that says something like appliance and furniture mattress, something like that. Anyway, I don't even care because I want to go in and see all the cool spirit Halloween stuff. You gotta love just standing right outside the doors, looking in and knowing that there's so much awesomeness right through these two doors. Here we go. I can't stand it. I can't take it. Oh, I love it. This place is huge, guys. Okay, in just a second, we're gonna check it all out, but hold on, I have to look at these new t-shirts that they have. Oh my gosh, I am so excited, I can't stand it. They have so many new t-shirts. Just hold on. I can't take it, and you know what else I can't take? The fact that they probably don't have any in my size. Holy crap, guys, I love them all so much. All right, let's just start down here. Okay, look at this. We have a creep show shirt this year. A put on a happy face. That's like leather face. That is hilarious. We got Pennywise. Um, here's monsters with all the classic monsters. I wish it was Friday. We've seen that before. There's a Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Uh, the Dreamer with Freddy. And then we got Michael Myers up here. We got Michael Myers here with the H for Halloween. G is for ghost face. Oh my gosh. I love that so much. I can't stand it. All right, let's look around here. Uh, let's see, here's a trick-or-treat. I don't think I've seen that one before. We got the gremlins don't feed after midnight, but look at this. I love this one so much. It's the Spirit Halloween logo with ghost face instead of Jack the Reaper. That is awesome. I love ghost face so much, which brings us to our next one right below it, scary movies and chill. And look at that, it's ghost face busting out through the old CRT TV. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm just going crazy because I love these so much. I didn't get to see any of this stuff at the, uh, the flagship store because I was so busy taking pictures and stuff like that, which is awesome. If you ever see me in the store, come up to me. I will take a picture with you. I'll sign something, whatever you want to do. Let's get back to looking at the awesomeness. Okay, look at this one. Chucky. Oh, it says, hi, I'm Chucky. Want to play? I don't know if we've seen that one before. I know we've seen this one and I love it. Let's see. We have seen the Easy, pay, easy Bake Coven. Let's summon demons. E is for extraterrestrial dread. <laughs> Look at this one. Okay, adopt a familiar animal. Um, let's see, what else? Have we seen any more of these that are new? Big Trick Energy, I think that's a new one. Uh, Hallow Wasted, okay, like a puking pumpkin. Oh my gosh, look at this. A Nightcrawler shirt. That is so dope. And look at this one, Crouchy. Oh, I can't stand it. And exactly how I figured, there's none that are even close to my size. Spirit Halloween, if you're watching this, send me some of these awesome shirts in my size. I'm a big, giant 4X. Man, yeah, look at this. We got Nightcrawlers in medium and extra large. Here's Crouchies in medium and extra large. There's not even 2X. I don't know, uh, I see a couple of 2Xs in some of these, but yeah, not in what I need. Oh my gosh. How disappointing. All that much more reason to get back on my diet and lose this weight. Uh, all right, let's go out here and see who all they have set up in the monster laboratory. Right over here is where the possessed pumpkin would be if they had him. And I see they do have Lord Farquaad set up. Actually, it's, I see, I can't even remember. When I start calling these things different names, I don't remember. Lord, what the heck is he? <laughs> It's Lord Raven. I always call these guys different names and then I forget what their real name is. All right, Mr. Raven, there we go. Oh my gosh, I love this guy so much, look at this. He's so, 
Look, he has like a beard. He has a beard, Lord Raven. Let's get a close up look of these hands. Look at this. I didn't get to look at this stuff in uh, New Jersey, but this is so cool. Look at, look at the long Raven hands. And let's get a close up of his face here. Look at this. Oh my gosh, he is so cool. This is definitely one of my favorites this year. Look how creepy he looks just standing there, towering over us. Let's see him moving one more time. Where's the, uh, oh, there he goes. I can't understand what he's saying because it's echoing through the store, but he is absolutely awesome. All right, before we go down through there, I don't want to forget this guy, so let's come over here and check out Monty. Now, before we even get him moving, let's just take a good look at him here. Look at these enormous feet. Look how long the toes are. That is crazy. All right, let's move on up here. He's got his clangy symbols. Look at his face. He's got the craziest look in his eyes right now. Like he just wants to murder me with his teeth. <laughs> And the really amazing thing is that his teeth are totally clean. He doesn't even need the Aquafresh. All right, Mr. Monty, let's get you going. What? Come on. Here we go. He is so cool. Just look at how enormous he is. I almost forgot the stickers, okay. And let's leave a few here for Lord Farquaad, okay. All right, let's come on over here and take a look at the bog zombie. This guy looks so awesome. Oh, he's loud too. Man, I love this guy. When I saw him online, like I knew he looked awesome but in person he is so much better. And I love how they have him turned up so loud. Let's, like a let's take a close look at his hands. Look at that. His hands look so creepy and he has the moss. And I love how the stuff that's hanging from him is like multicolored. Is that supposed to be like seaweed or something? I don't know, let's get a close up on his face. Look at that face. That is a good looking prop, guys. And his knee is sticking out because all his skin is gone. Wow, this guy is totally awesome. Let's leave him a couple of stickers here. Okay. All right, here we go through the Dr. J Reaper Monster Laboratory. Here we go. Will we see awesomeness? What the heck? We don't have the bubbles of death. What's going on with the bubbles of death here? No bubbles of death. I guess I'm going to live today. Okay, I can deal with that. We do have Barry here. Here he goes. Man, listen to that guy. <laughs> he sounds so creepy. He's not moving around, though. I thought he was supposed to be moving around. But man, does he sound creepy. <laughs> that is a scary scream. Okay, if they had him, young Crouchy would be right here. We do have the chains of death. We may not have the bubbles of death, but we do have the chains of death. And let's look up. Oh, what the heck, man? They don't have that going either. Okay, if you want to see what happens up there, make sure you go and watch some of the flagship videos because they had that going. What the heck? Look at this. This is, the bubbles of death are in here, but there's only like a little bit. I think it's supposed to be filled all the way up. Okay, all right, let's keep on moving here. Okay, we do have Shorty, and everybody jumped all over me because I did not get a close-up of him in the flagship store, but let's go ahead and get him moving. There we go. You gotta love Shorty's sound. He is actually so much more awesome than I remember. Like, he was a really awesome prop when we looked at him last year, but just watching him again now reminds me how cool he really is. All right, let's give him some stickers too. 
Let's leave some for Barry. And look at this, we have a Grim setup over here. You gotta love Grim. There goes the hand. He is definitely one of my favorites of all time. I would love to have about 20 of him in my front yard, like a whole Mr. Grimm army. Okay, so this is another thing that I didn't get a good look at when I was at the flagship store. A lot of people were in here taking pictures, and I believe that David's TV made a good little video about this too. If you look down here, Connected to the end of the chains of death are these things that, that uh, they're like handcuffs that you put your wrists through and then it's like you're hanging here dead along with the skeletons. So people were putting those on and then standing in front of there and getting awesome pictures. Look at this guys, I love how I just happen to come in here at a time when there's not a whole bunch of people in here. We get to look at all these animatronics that are for sale ourselves. Look at this, we have a whole stack of sitting scarecrows. We have four of man's possessed friend, Bubba. He's one of my favorites too. Look at this, we have a Grim in stock. We have a Nightcrawler and we have a Nozzles the Clown. I know right now these are difficult to find because the stores are just opening up. People are running in and buying them right off the floor as quickly as they can, but right here, in Moro, Georgia, we have a Nozzles. We also have a Berry. And look at this, we even have two Bog Zombies available. Man, if you guys want these new ones, get down here and get them. Let's see, oh, we got another Nightcrawler, and we have a Lord Raven. How cool is that? Man, I should buy that guy right now. Actually, if I was smart, I'd be buying a Nightcrawler right now because we're probably gonna see less and less of these things around in the stores. All right, anyways, for right now, let's go over here and look at some of these. All right, we got hot nozzles right here. Look at that hot mess of a hair. That, <laughs> that is even all the more reason to call him hot nozzles. He has the long chili pepper nose, and then he has that hair. What in the world? All right, let's see if we can get him going here. Make way for the toxic sludge, he said. He doesn't have his fog going, but he does have the lights on his nozzles. And that's one thing that I was I was curious about. Because some people told me like that he had hands and he was holding the nozzles, but he clearly doesn't. The nozzles are his hands. The light turns on right there, and then the fog comes out there. So when you turn him on, when the fog comes out, those green lights light up the fog and illuminates it and makes it look so cool. All right, hot nozzles, I'm moving on. All right, we got Lucky Bottoms here. Let's get him going. Oh, oh here we go. You gotta love this guy. He's actually pretty big. I thought he was gonna be a lot smaller than that. And for some reason, I thought that his eyes lit up but they don't, they're just pure black. Look at this, we got a whole bunch of Miserable Marie. Uh, what is it? Oh yeah, right here, Miserable Marie. I didn't see the Buzzsaw ones when I first looked in there, but we got a whole bunch of Crunchy Bones posters there. Okay, and this is sweet. I haven't had a chance to just kick back and watch what's going on in the testing lab on these, but look at this. Oh cool, That's, that skeleton just got electrocuted. And look back here, there's another one like floating in the bubbles of death. What's that? I thought he was dancing up there. <laughs> oh my gosh, it just killed that skeleton. All right, and then we got Dr. Illum over here and he's getting shocked. What in the world? This is so cool. This is one of the most awesome setups. Anyways, back to Mr. Dark. Let's look at this guy quick before we set him off. Look at his hands, they're so creepy. And look at those teeth. He is one of the most awesome animatronics ever to come out of Spirit Halloween. All right, let's get him going here. There he goes, here we go. Yeah! He is one of my favorites. Look how huge he is. I, I don't remember if he's 10 or 12 feet tall. But man, he is awesome. 
Look at that. So cool, Mr. Dark. He's gonna be one that's really, really difficult to find pretty soon. And of course we have the jumping spider over here. Is he gonna do it? Yes! There he is, hello friend, I've missed you. Okay, right here is where Reagan would be if they had her. And this little thing back here is where the, uh, the projection face comes up that projects from the back of her. You can see this is still all wound up. So when they get her, they'll be setting her up right here. Okay, yeah, and then on the other side here, this is just basically another place where you can take some awesome pictures. It's supposed to have a mirror there. They probably just don't have it set up yet. All right, we need to go through the experiment room here. And here, yes, I'm so glad they're working. I looked in a minute ago and I didn't see that they were working. The electrocution! It electrifies my face! Although, even though it's electrifying me, the floor is not moving. I don't know if I saw the electrifying tubes the last time I was in here either. And I see they don't have these going yet, but I'm sure they will soon. Stop electrifying my face! Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love this setup in here, guys. And look at these lights here, too. These are so cool. They really did a good job this year. Okay, I think we've seen all the animatronics but I want to look around just for a few minutes here before I go. Because there is a lot of new stuff this year. I don't have too much time to spend in here right now. And I mainly wanted to see the animatronics and see what they had for sale. I had planned on getting little skelly bones if they had them. Unfortunately, I don't see any anywhere. Oh, I did miss all the jumping spiders. I have a whole bunch of those. These stores are always stocked with the jumping spiders. Oh, these are awesome. These are some that people have been asking about uh, me just keeping an eye out for. Look at this Beetlejuice right here. He is so cool. Oh, look, and it's Lydia from Beetlejuice. That's awesome. And then we have these two and the Sandworm. That is so cool. And you gotta love Oogie Boogie. He is like the best ever. Oh look, they have a whole bunch of these squashy guys. Oh my gosh, they even have gremlins, and they have, is that Jason? It's a squashy Jason. <laughs> and then over here, well, more gremlins, they have Jack. It's so bouncy. Look, they have a zero one. That is so cool, you gotta love his little pumpkin nose. Oh my gosh, guys, look at how cool this is. Okay, I bought this one last year, ghost face but look at this i have been waiting for them to put out stuff like this they got the shirts up there now we have a crouchy throw blanket and a night crawler throw blanket those are so awesome i wonder if they're just testing it out with the night crawler and uh, and crouchy just to see how they do in my opinion they should have throw blankets and shirts and merchandise of every animatronic they put out i mean even Johnny Punk. Okay, let's go look at these inflatables quick, because I saw one in New Jersey that I had never seen before. Um, what the heck was it? I don't even remember what it was, and they don't have it here right now. They do have this guy, though. <laughs> look at that. It's a bony zombie cat. Holy crap, look at the look on that guy's face. That would scare the crap out of me if I saw that in the night. Look at this, here's the creeping cat. This just must be what he looks like before he becomes the zombie cat. Oh my gosh, and look at this. Here is a hooked head that I have never seen before. What in the world? Look at that guy's face. <laughs> he looks like he just got done eating a cheeseburger and then he took a hook to the eye. Oh my gosh, guys, this store has a whole slew of zombie babies, including the burrito baby. If you bought a burrito baby, let me know in the comments below. But look at these guys. You gotta love the zombie babies. We got this, all right, what's her name? Chomping Connie. She's a brain eater. She's chomping on a brain. And this guy's just waiting for his chance to get a bite. Then we got this guy here who's chomping on, a, <laughs> he's chomping on a mouse. And he's like, would you like a bite? No, thank you. We're full of spiders and cockroaches. And I'm busy eating a hand. All right, guys, there is so much more awesome stuff to see in these stores, but we have a whole season to go. So I'm gonna hold off on some of it, 
we're gonna go through here one more time and get our face electrocuted. Maybe. Are you going to electrocute me? Okay. Okay, here it goes. I'm not gonna let you down. It's electrocuting my face! 